It's been about 19 days since I planted all of my peppers. And if you were with me for that video, I planted a lot of um, seeds that I knew got wet and was damaged last year. And But some of them actually did sprout. Um, granted, it is very sparse germination. Um, I planted like 25 seeds, well 5, 10, 15, 20 seeds out of this one and I've only gotten two, four to germinate. But then some I've gotten zero to germinate. And so I'm just going to take these tags because I'm pretty sure that they're not going to germinate and I'm going to replant them in a new container. I'm just reusing these tags because I don't want to write out new tags because these seeds may not give me any plants with them being damaged but i did take pictures of the spots that i'm removing tags just in case later on they do decide to germinate and we're going to go out to the hoop house it is kind of a rainy day but it is 73 degrees today It's supposed to be raining all day today and for the next few days, but that's the beds I planted my onions in. And you can see they got like a really good soaking. I'm just gonna be checking over the next few days or up to like a week and making sure that they, um, what is it called? Where's my chair? Oh, back there. That they stay planted in the ground actually i just realized when i walked in here i haven't shown you guys in the hoop house since our last frost the last frost that we got like was a super super deep frost and all of the peppers that i had down here completely died off i'm not sure if they're i don't think the whole plant is completely dead so i'm still leaving them there um but thank goodness I planted more jalapeno peppers because all of those were jalapenos. Except for one. I think one was either a pepperoncini or a shishito. But I have more of those as well. That was just an experiment. But everything else that was cold hardy in here still survived. So we still have our snap peas. We still have our brassicas down here. Um, but all of the potatoes that I had in here, most of the, <laughs> the tops all died with that last really really bad i think it got down to but some i just looked and some actually did not die but it got down to i think it was what was it outside i think that was the morning i woke up and it said it felt like 15 so nothing's really going to protect peppers in an unheated greenhouse when it's 15 degrees but i'm going to be looking for a tray to plant all of these new or not new all of the peppers and i have my seedlings up there so i'm going to check for those It is now a little less, probably nine weeks from my last frost date. I think today is nine weeks from my last frost date. But if I, technically, if I'm going by my um, the new calendar that they put, put out, it would actually be eight weeks from my last frost date. But like I told you guys, I am not listening to March 27th as my last frost date. So I'm going with April 2nd. But either way still enough time for me to replant these peppers and still get it harvest I'm using a small a uh, bigger tray with more seed space so that I can plant more peppers in here the ones that did not the ones that I know may not germinate at all that got wet last year I'm going to depending on how many peppers are in that packet I may just go ahead and try and fit all like 15 or whatever peppers 
inside each inside of whatever planting how many ever seed what are these called seed cells that I'm planting in because there's no point in saving the seeds um, if they I'm gonna have to throw them away and they're not gonna work for me so I'm gonna thickly thickly plant like I did with my other ones I planted five per tray or per cell and I'm gonna do the same thing this time so that way even if I get just even one seed to germinate out of you know the 25 or whatever then I can save seeds what'd you say okay. well hold on then I can save seeds from uh no bring those inside from those peppers and I won't have to buy seeds so that's the plan what red thing those are peppers I got all my plant tags in here. I just basically wanted it to fit all in one tray. So I didn't have to get a new tray out. So that took some thinking. I did that off camera. Some of the ones on this side right here with these orange tags, I have plants in the house, but they're only one. So like this Santa Fe Grande was my favorite um, hot pepper. For the past two years we lo loved it pickled but i only have one that sprouted and i want to make sure that i definitely get some more <laughs> santa park fray grandes especially if even if i don't like the pepper a lot just getting uh putting all your money on like one pepper seed or one pepper seedling is not okay with me because anything can happen to it between now and like transplanting or you've not been known to kill plants when transplanting and so i just want to make sure that i have enough seedlings so i'm gonna plant 10 seeds sprinkled into this one cell i know that's a lot i'm not expecting i mean they all may pop up i just realized that this seed pack was packed for 2024 so that's surprising that um that I only had one germinate um, of this. But I was looking and there's a lot of peppers that, yes, yeah, so like the sweet banana pepper was for 2024 and usually I have like 100% germination rate with MI Gardener seeds. Um, but some of my Haas seeds that I got from last year did, didn't germinate or if they germinated, they germinated um very sparsely but that could be on me i did see that i had a lot of fungal fungus um on the plants or on the soil and i did sprinkle with cinnamon and that did help a little bit but what's this this is a banana pepper again i'm just gonna if you guys had trouble well, you probably haven't started planting seeds yet, but I'm very curious to know if it would be just me that's using, like, seeds within the first year or two and if they had trouble germinating. But I've never had... I've done everything else the same. It's not like previous years I haven't dealt with, like, fungus getting on top of the soil and sprinkling cinnamon. So... It could have also been that I didn't keep them warm enough, like I just sat them on a heat mat. But before the heat mat, I had them inside of my bathroom with a heater. So that could have played something into it. But I'm not playing these seedlings if I have too many I'm just gonna use what I need and if I have too many I know a lot of people that will be ready to take some pepper started pepper plants
Okay, I did it. I put a another tray underneath so that I could bottom water them. I am going to bring this in the house and sit these new ones on the heat mat immediately. I did, instead of poking them down, I covered them with soil and packed them down very tightly. I watched someone say that if that they had better success, they had better success with their germination rate when the, they made sure that they smashed the seeds down really, really good um, and solid. And the ones that they didn't smash down as well didn't germinate as well. So I'm going to try that. These are all of the seed packs that are empty. I'm going to save them in case I get any to germinate. And I'll reuse these packs to put my seeds inside of them. But... Now I know all of the seeds that I was scared about. I can now go ahead and put them with my seeds that I know germinate and with no problem. We're going to bring all this stuff inside and then I want to go check on the onions and just make sure that none of them came out or not came out that the cat didn't like scratch any out or anything like that. I've never planted that many pepper seeds inside cells before. And so what I'm thinking is that if I have a lot, like maybe more than three or maybe two, maybe two or three germinate in each cell, I'm going to not wait. As soon as I see them sprout, I may go ahead and separate them right away. Usually when I only have like two, sometimes even three in a cell, I wait till they get their first true leaves or get a little bigger and then I separate them. But I mean, some of those, uh, cells I planted like 10 seeds I'm looking down at my onions to see if there's any out of the soil that I need to push back in they all look pretty standing up this bed is gonna look so great when the, it's act, the greens actually start growing. I love the look of a full bed, of the look of a square foot gardening bed because it just makes it all look uniform and in straight rows and lines and makes me so happy. It's actually about 70, I think I said that 73 degrees, but it feels really hot out here. I figured while I'm standing here, I should go ahead and check on the scarlet. I think all the ones I've cut are actually starting to I think all the ones I cut have actually started to green back up, which is nice. Okay, my gardening for today is done. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry. As soon as I say that, I see that this elephant garlic is planted in here way too close. Oh, and this is the ant pile. Yep, okay. I'm going to leave that for now, but because I'm going to need a shovel, which I don't have. I don't feel like dealing with ants right now before I go inside the house. But I just spent some time checking on my garlic and separating. There was some more elephant garlic that had popped up and that was too close together. So I went, spent some time separating them. And now I've worked up my appetite. I'm going to go inside, eat some lunch. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.